So we are here today at the Lost Islands. It's a brand new park here in Waterloo, Iowa. That's like, when I say brand new, it literally opened just about a year ago. And they only have a couple big rides right now, but it's uh, more reason for all you guys to check it out. Make sure here at the shop beginning video, come to Lost Islands. There's a lot of hype around this place, but unfortunately, as you can see, it's not really too busy right now, at least from the parking lot, which is a shame because it is a Saturday. Yeah, I gotta love um, entry experience. There's literally a guy at the parking booth that was basically giving me a play-by-play -play of how amusement parks work. So, big shout out to him. And let's go in and see what is is to be seen. That's a bad sense, keeping it in. Even just approaching the park, he got a lot of cool theming with like and these orange and red swirly pathways, kind of tiki ticket booths, leading up to this giant entry sign. So like. Automatically off that experience, this place is already awesome. So, shout out to Interactive Ads. We might be going adventures. Literally, like five steps out of the entrance, you can already see some of the main attractions here at the park, which is in that building they have the volcano, I think it's called, or something. The whole place is freaking volcanoes. All elements. So the park's like themed to elemental islands. Yeah, that's giant dark ride in there. It's supposed to be like world class. And back there, the little anime coaster you can see is actually from another park in Europe years ago. So that's gonna be super cool to check out. One of the last few accelerator style coasters. Can't wait to check it out. But they've also got a bunch of other stuff in the park. So let's go see what there is. Okay, fine. We're gonna start with Volcano World. The realm of Mura. It's fire, I guess. Look at the fire right there. Yeah, I was right. The big dark ride's called Volcano. The quest. For the golden idol and a coke. Quest for the coke. Now go. Data Tamariki protect you on your journey. Okay, yeah, that thing is actually insane. I don't know if it's like a recency bias or anything since I haven't done any other shooting dark rides this year, but that feels better. More intricate, but like all the animatronics, the way that pops out, and like the wheel, the guns, and everything, that feels so much better than like even the ones at Disney that was at last year. So, dude, just come here, right, Volcano? Just come here, right, Volcano? The Burrow area looks like it's definitely home of the more thrilling flat rides. Like, we got this disco coaster right here, freaking inverted, inverted again. Pendulum ride. And like honestly, the only thing I'm a little sad about immediately coming here, which like I want to be open anyways, but it looks like the top spin's closed. Under construction, or whatever. Which is a shame because like it's been forever since I've been on top spin. I used to love well, going on these things. Yeah, dude, check out freaking volcano on volcano. Even goes up to the female on this thing. It's like a little lava demon. All right, fine. Here's whistling. You know what time it is. Let's get right the cool in them in. So there's a storyline for the log flume. That's 
so far the only negative thing I can say about this park, besides the fact that why aren't more you people here come to Walt's Island, is you might want to find a more permanent solution than this one trash can to the east stop that is almost within reaching distance. Don't do that. Bad park. Do not keep east stop in an easily accessible place. You would think, though, that the big water ride at the park would be in the water section. Look at that lake, though. I like this tiered lake. More theming. It's theming everywhere here. It's awesome. Bruh. They got, they got themed food. Themed restaurant. Hey, my Nuggie. They actually have some pretty unique food here in this. I forgot the restaurant's called Edit right there. I got this, like a mango habanero pineapple burger. You can size some lazy butt. Good. Wait, yo, there's an unmanned splash battle here? I haven't done one of this since Hollywood had it. Too bad there's like no one to splash. People come to this park, ride things. Okay, I swear to God, the wind picked up here as soon as I stepped into the wind nation. There's, what? I don't know, you can't see wind on on video, but just believe me, the wind started getting windy. I see as I stepped in the wind area. That's theming right there, that is immersion. That pace when the park's other main roller coaster is an SLC. Oh, at least you got a cool instrument here too. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Mainly just like the first drop and first inversion that absolutely murder you, but like the rest of the ride wasn't too bad for an SLC. I mean, there's always so much you can do with them. Besides giving us a new Vacoma and this place, brand new place, is not gonna give us a brand new Vacoma yet. Yet. Until more people visit. Everyone come here to Lost Island is awesome. At least they have the model that has the wonder of the bonus helix. Seriously, not that bad for an SLC though. You guys wanna see an SLC that doesn't work anymore, check out the video in the wherever I put the card. Ladies and gentlemen, this park has theming and a storyline for the freaking drop right. Oh, that is cool right there. What is, small tiny park that just opened has Storylines for every single ride. Literally, just random drop ride has amazing theming in, in it. Just to be clear, this drop ride here, SNS whatever, has a giant entrance, a lot of theming in the line, and a freaking pre show. That's like Dr. Doom levels of theming right there, if not more. Shame the cycle is a little weak, but... A drop ride with actual theming. What is this park doing? And why aren't more people here? Alright. Guess it's time to kill myself. I have no clue how I'm going to do on this self and burning thing. Mmm, <laughs> wacky warp credit. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and call this corner of the park. Lost Island deserves so much better. Shout out to the Wacky Worm crew though. I actually straight up ended up getting four laps on it just because we overshot the station like twice. Or at least once. We just barely did, it counts. All right, we got gears on the ground. Got gears on the swing ride. Gears on the weird flippy air ride thing. I think I've got my nation. We're even we're wearing Skyrush shirt today and Phoenix hat. We're just straight up flying. Like an air coaster. I haven't talked about the snake coaster yet, Marigani, this little Intamin magical thing here. Yeah, like I said at the beginning, it used to be at another park in Europe, I think. Don't hold me to this, I'm gonna end up when I find the actual RCDB thing, but like, I wanna say Linimaki, maybe? I remember it's called Kenonen, so like, I remember the name of this one. Not quite the park, Europe is like a whole different world from America coasters. I need New York trips at some point. TCG player, raise energy. Help support the channel so I can do more coaster stuff. But yeah, this thing is one of the rare hydraulic coasters that I left from Intamin after they've been basically modding all of them out. Because these cable launches are maybe not the most consistent or something. I don't know. I'm not an engineer. I operated rides back in the day. But yeah, it's a nice little compact layout, very floaty inversions. And depending where you sit on, in the front or the back of the ride, you can see either kind of floaty air time or some decent ejector in like the first half. So like, not a bad ride. It's obviously their key attraction right now. Well, this and Bakano, but like snake coaster right here. Pretty, pretty good. Look at that snake man. Snake man right there. Now let's talk about the companion app for a second. This little doohickey not only does the standard park stuff of, you know, telling you about rides with all their stats and stuff like that, but it also gives you a couple cool things to collect, such as badges, treasures to hunt throughout the park, and the avatars that you unlock by doing things. This really helps gamify the park and gives you a lot to do during your free time if you're just wandering around or if you have the season pass and are with multiple visits. You to false here feels like the correct amount of wet. Like nothing too visible, but like it's refreshing. You get the squoosh, and it's, a, it's an okay ride. Like definitely some more theming on the course. That's a beautiful set piece there with the windmill. But like considering that the storylines and theming on everything here, you could have done a little, little more. Would be cool. Checking out the other restaurant real quick. This one is a Wahale. The food offerings in here. We see your chicken, they have seafood. Always good. Of course they have seafood in the place themed to sea thing. Some sandwiches. Looks pretty standard. And well, that's different. Oh, pork and mac. Ooh, macaroni, well, looks good. 
Yeah, like I think I'd probably go to the other main restaurant over this just because it's more unique. But they do have a pretty diverse menu in here as well. Go and check out the gift shop for a second. They show you a couple of cool things. Got a bunch of their mascots over here. Horns. Some reds and stuff. Blue. I like this one, the sunset. And I'm really, really going to come to another theme park just to get more theme one stuff. You already did it with Time Traveler last time. I'll see, these ones are more intricate though. Nope, already got Time Traveler. I think one of the best things over here about all the red merchandise. First of all, all canoe. Golden Tick, I said that already. Have little idols if you guys want to get your own. But if you guys are no longer Kings Island local, does this look familiar to you? Honestly, much more deserving of that logo than Diamondback. Just saying. Of course, looking at all the souvenirs over there, now's probably the perfect time to remind you guys, if you guys enjoy these kind of videos and want to help support me and all the money I'm about to give Lost Island, please come to Lost Island and give them money because this park is awesome and they deserve the same business. Make sure to get some raised energy using code SKYRIDGE to save 15% online. Or of course, check out my TCG player shop. Either way, it's going to help support the channel, helps me do these awesome trips. And like I said, places like this that deserve so much love and attention, even though it's only like a year old and I'm gonna give him money to Lost Island. Give me money so I can give money to Lost Island. Alright, I've done a couple laps around the park and it's still a little bit of time before sundown to these night rides. You guys see some of the lighting come on the first wheel over there. So I wanna go back in the app and get back to Treasure Hunt. At least win nation. You gotta get my nation down. I wanna complete all the treasures for there. So basically what we're doing is trying to find symbols that match this nation, every area, every island, whatever you call them here. And it's supposed to be like three, four, five of each of these in the nation. So let's try and go find them. Each one is going to, and each one is going to have a little treasure thing on the app that'll pop up. So the adventure is to find treasures. I feel like the Utah ones are the easiest ones to find. There's literally... Big old, big old easy one to find right here. This little dig site thing for kids, which is kind of cool. Here's your blah, blah, blah. It's blah, blah. Here's the mountain back there. And then back here in the distance on the log flume, big old leaf. Yeah, there's a couple that are easy to find for the Utah ground clan. A lot of these zones are actually kind of hard to find. Like, I can see this being a big adventure thing for season pass holders and return visitors and just finding all this treasure. For the app game. Look, all I'm just gonna say are two things. First of all, huge, 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 huge marketing mess on the park. Literally every single one of these characters, they have like so many freaking characters, they're literally even on trash cans. But they don't have a single one of these on any shirts or merchandise. I would definitely pick up a shirt with these guys for those guys. Remember the scene with my purples? Purples are over here. Those are my boys. I definitely did a couple shirts with them. Secondly, look at look at look at this freaking sun right here. The bloody sunset of doom here at the Lost Island. I'm telling you guys to come to Lost Island right now because this place is awesome. Okay, let's just call it. Madaguni here, Madanui. I'm not gonna say this ever right. Probably my second favorite accelerator coaster now. Hard to remember how much I like Stormer because that thing was down last time I was at Hershey Park, but tracks could suck it. Accelerator was down when I was at Not Spray Farm last year. 
and I don't honestly remember any other accelerators I've been on on top of my head, so we're gonna say this is the good. Not the biggest, not the fastest, but Zippy has got a lot of substance to ride and it has some cool forces to it, so. Huge win for Snake Coaster, Matu, Matugani. There it is, there's the sign. Matugani, cool Snake Coaster. Strongly recommend to come to Lost Island, ride this thing. Come to Lost Island. Here comes the fun stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this lighting on this theming. And tell me why there was only 50, 75 cars in the parking lot on a busy Saturday. Just, just come to Lost Island. I'm not gonna keep saying, just come to Lost Island. This place is actually amazing for what they have. Only like three credits and one of them being one that stands out. But I mean like what they have is pretty diverse. They have some really cool unique rides back there like the air flyer thing the insane dark ride in Volcano. And I want to run the top spin. This is the one thing I'm sad at is the top spin's closed. But seriously, Lost Island, just come. The end. End of story, just come to Lost Island. I'm not gonna keep on saying that. Look at that flyer thing go. Only one way for me to end the night here at Lost Island. Going back to my wind nation. Gotta get more flippies on my flyer ride. There's, there's literally gear. This is steampunk flyer. Plus steampunk flyer ride. Do all the flips. Okay, just got a flash ride the night on, I still don't know what this is called, it's been called a flying ride all day. All I'm gonna say, is I did one flip for every subscriber I have, so if you wanna see me do more versions next time, you, you, know what to, you know what to do. All right, I am only getting one of these things, but just letting so you know, I'm super torn between the coolness of the fact that they have the idol from the Balkanu ride, it was really cool, and the plushie of the little mascot dudes. One of these guys will be in my background in future videos. But just letting you know, I really want to get both because they are both super awesome. Getting the shirt though. All right, that's going to do it for tonight here at Lost Island. All the rides are closed. We got our gifts. And you can still see like some lighting on here. It's super cool. But hey, now going through all security. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fun stuff because we'll be playing more Coast content coming soon. I am going home now. That's a bad ending. Thanks for exploring.